What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Rift. My name is Terrence and for the last few weeks it's been pretty radio silent in terms of EA Sports UFC 4 as the team prepares for the upcoming launch. But lucky for us, it seems like the EA Sports marketing team is finally ready to ramp up their promotional marketing for UFC 4 because the UFC 4 website was updated. On this updated website, we received more information on that Starbase rating system, as well as uh, some ratings for a few new fighters. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna be going into detail on the rating of these announced fighters, but I do wanna point out a couple of honorable mentions in Rumble Johnson, Anthony Johnson, as well as Ronda Rousey. Now that's very interesting because both of them are fighters that are retired and no longer active in the UFC, but we now know they're going to be in the game. They're both fan favorites, so it's good to see them. I will be linking the link to the official UFC 4 website where you can go and check out all these ratings for yourself. Even better, they're going to be updating it every single day, so you'll see more fighters updated on that, so be sure to check out that link in the description. More on that in a little bit. But the meat of today's video is mainly that new star-based rating system. The devs have finally gone into detail to explain why it exists and how it functions, and we're gonna break it down by looking at some of the text that they said. I do feel the need before this video gets started to disclose that when I did my initial thoughts video, um, I guess both of my thoughts videos on the beta, this was one of the things, the rating system I mean by this, was one of the things that I did consider a con. I just didn't feel like any sports sim game that wants to take itself serious should be using a five star rating system. You wouldn't see that really in Madden for overalls, you know, you probably wouldn't see that in 2K overall. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't really play either one of those games hardcore at the moment, but I just felt like it'd be a wrong way to rate fighters. And it does seem that EA kind of agrees with me because they've decided to go into detail and explain exactly why they've implemented this new system. So it seems the new star-based rating system has been implemented to prevent online mismatches as well as just help create a more diverse selection of opponents. Previously, if you were to choose like an online or ranked match or something like that, um, a lot of times people were choosing their fighters based on the overall. So a 93 would typically be selected more than a fighter that's ranked 91, even if the 91 overall fighter has more tools in their inventory to win the fight. Sometimes this meant that two Conor McGregor's were fighting, a lot of mirror matches basically. So it seems that the Starbase rating, rating system, excuse me, has been added to prevent or at least minimize those occurrences. And for the detractors like myself, in UFC 4, the devs have already promised that not only will you get that five-star rating system, but you'll also still be able to see ratings broken down by number. So if you are worried like I was initially, you could actually even see those numbers in the beta. You just had to click, I think it was like Y or something like that, or triangle on PS4 when you were on the fighter selection screen and it would break all that down. But wait, there's more. In addition to the new star-based rating system, uh, fighter attributes are also going to be seeing a few changes. Now, fighter punch and kick power and speed are all going to be getting their own respective attribute categories. The remaining attributes will be clinch and ground striking, which have both seen changes based on, of course, their new and improved respective systems. From there, of course, you also have cardio now, which replaces UFC 3's um, standing and ground stamina. You also have recovery, which will be replacing heart and toughness. Personally, I really like these changes. I like seeing heart and recovery, um, or I'm sorry, heart and toughness being replaced with recovery, as well as seeing cardio being one thing for striking and ground stamina. I think that makes more sense in my opinion. I like it. I like it being simplified. I know, again, a lot of people don't really want to see the game being made more casual friendly. I think this is one of those changes that does not only benefit casual players, but of course benefits the hardcore MMA fan who's going to be walking into this game. Along with UFC 4's new attributes, you will also now be getting top five moves, which I'm assuming will appear on the fighter selection screen. And you'll be able to see not only the top five moves for each specific fighter, but you'll also be able to see the button inputs to perform said move. I think that's also pretty cool. 
And one final note for those of you out there who are concerned about post-launch support for UFC 4, the devs did state in this blog that the game has been built from the ground up, that attributes, those skills, the Starbase rating system, it's all been built from the ground up to be updated on the fly. So after events, if a fighter performs really well, you'll see that boost in their attributes. If they perform extremely poorly, then they'll be removed from the game as they would be removed from the UFC in real life after a poor performance. Uh, I'm just joking about that. EA, please don't sue me. It's just a joke. Uh, it's a joke. All right, guys, that does it for this video. I know it was short and sweet, but to the point, I just wanted to let you guys know some new information had come out if you had not heard. If you guys wanna get any more information on any of the things I mentioned in this video, like the new fighter attributes or top five moves or more information on that star-based rating system, or even just look at some of those fighters that you saw or heard were going to be announced over the next week, Maybe a fighter that you've been a fan of but have not seen in the game yet, maybe they get announced. Um, if you want to see any of that, I'll be dropping a link to the official UFC 4 website in the description, so be sure to click on that and go get that information. Before I hop out of here, I do want to point out I was uh, a guest on the Fellows and Gents podcast, um, which is hosted by my virtual buddy Volk as well as Dapper Media, who makes some really incredible MMA highlight videos. Their links will also be in the description um, if you want to check them out or just check out that podcast episode with me. I'll also have all that listed in the description as well. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Uh, leave me a comment below on your thoughts on UFC 4 or just anything in general. I mean, I'm down to have a discussion, which brings me to my next point. Follow me on Twitter and, of course, go uh, join our Discord where we can talk everything from sports to just life. In general, I'm always down for a good conversation, so be sure to join that. All that will also be in the description. And of course, if I haven't said it already, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because we're gonna have a lot more fun on this channel once UFC 4 drops, and hopefully far into the future, <laughs> if I don't die from Corona. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.